we're the merchant marine And we sail across the sea As the U-boats torpedoes hunt for halls that they can reach We will brave the rugged ocean Blistering winds test our devotion But we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach Steaming since 1945, she is 455 feet long, 62 feet wide, and 109 feet tall. Her powerful 6,000 horsepower twin steam turbine engines allow her to cruise at a maximum of 16 knots, carrying the equivalent of 300 freight cars or 2,450 jeeps and 450 Sherman tanks. Originally, she was armed with one 3-inch 50 caliber gun, one 5-inch 38 caliber gun, and eight strategically placed 20 millimeter or Lycan anti-aircraft guns. This venerable veteran of three wars steamed more than 500,000 nautical miles during her career, transporting military cargo and supplies. She visited 31 countries, 18 states and territories, traversed the Panama Canal 18 times and the Suez Canal three times. She circumnavigated the world twice, survived two typhoons in the Pacific, and a hurricane in the Atlantic. Earning several service ribbons, she is one of only four World War II era merchant ships in the United States that still get underway, embarking on two reliving history cruises a year. Seaworthy and steaming as before. From berth 271 in the Ebor Turning Basin, she is the SS American Victory, Mariner's Memorial and Museum Ship. This is a, a, a dream come true. It absolutely is. And, and the greatest thing is, is a dream shared not by one, but by so many. Welcome aboard. Today, the SS American Victory joins her two sister ships, the Lane Victory and the Red Oak Victory, and two Liberty ships, the John Brown and the Jeremiah O'Brien, in serving as memorials honoring the brave merchant seamen, U.S. Navy armed guard crews, and others who lost their lives building, sailing, and defending valuable cargo ships. Getting the dead ship to Tampa and turning her into a living memorial was no small feat. It took an act of Congress and an enormous amount of help from volunteers and the Tampa Bay maritime community to make it all possible. The volunteers come from all walks of life, for many different reasons, but they all have one thing in common. They are truly in love with their ship and have a profound respect for those who go down to the sea in merchant ships. By pouring their hearts and souls into renovation and restoration projects, donating nearly 100,000 hours of service to their ship, this hard-working and dedicated volunteer crew have accomplished what many thought was impossible. They resurrected a great piece of steel and machinery. Went on another uh, victory ship to get parts off of it to bring back here, which we got on was a total replacement of the ship's radio from that ship. Uh, it was the SS Hattiesburg. Wow, you got to see this. Look at this. Here's the ship I was on. I can't believe it. Here I am, same ship, nothing much is different. And I'm sitting on it, and here, the main thing that's different is my age. <laughs> I was a kid in my 20s, and now an old wild lover in my 80s. I was brought aboard as chief radio man, so I did my first service on this ship before it went to sea. I sat here in this same chair, the same radio, in 1945, when the ship was launched brand new and smelled brand new. And what I recall about doing the trial run is we hit a phenomenal speed. All those years ago I was on this ship and it's part of my World War II memories. John Ritter, radioman. Operate the radios and do whatever necessary to clean out, paint, whatever it takes. As you embark upon your onboard adventure through the companionways and weather decks of the SS American Victory, remember she is an authentic working ship, fully functional and capable of getting underway. 
You'll be viewing firsthand the ongoing restoration work and training activities as you experience the weather decks while on board. Your weather deck adventure begins here on the second deck with continuous live feed from the engine room and will include the main deck, boat deck, cabin deck, bridge deck, and both the forward and aft gun decks. Conditions are a bit spartan, but most guests find that this authenticity adds to the unique character of the vessel. Full name is Charles M. Is it my bus junior? I'm the ship's historian, and I'm an able seaman, helmsman, and the steaming crew. I've come full circle. I started out on one of these when I was a very young person, 16 years old. I went to sea on a sister ship with this one about a hundred yards back down here in the Ybor Channel. I signed on as dishwasher aboard the SS Belgian Victory. So coming back to this ship was like a microcosm of my past. I found things here that were just exactly like I remembered at that time so many years ago in 1947. And Nick Elton, Newport Chief Engineer. After I retired, I moved to Tampa, and uh, lo and behold, here's the victory ship, you know. So it's a sort of link to my past. And uh, they were looking for volunteers with some, you know, experience to keep the ship in a, you know, state of readiness. So that's what we do, maintain it. Because the ship makes several cruises per year, you know, with the, out in Tampa Bay, the reliving history cruises. So the ship has to be kept up to uh, Coast Guard certification because we take on uh, fair paying passengers. And I usually spend about, say, a minimum two days a week on the ship. It's a labor of love, you know? Aaron Barn. I'm 86, my next birthday. I'm on board for the first work party along about September, I believe it was, October of 99. I work in the engine room, restore the thing, you know, repair what needs to be repaired, painting and cleaning up. And I enjoy this type of work. I come down three days a week, always have time to stop and share, you know, with people. A lot of people don't know about the merchant marine. The merchant ships, say, uh, they, uh, Went to the beachhead just like the regular military did. In fact, we took them over there. So we stopped, take time out, explain it to them, and show them around. Well, my name is Harold Dill, but they call me Matt. Uh, mostly do welding, uh, a lot of other small jobs, but the main job is to weld on the ship. December 99, I seen an ad on TV. Uh, there was a guy that was stationed on this ship. He was hauling in the mooring line and said they was restoring the ship and they need a lot of volunteers. So I called John Tim on and uh, he says, what can you do? I says, I can weld, work with wood, work with metal. I did body work, paint. So he says, come on down. It's a labor of love. It's part of history. I enjoy working with my hands. Keep history going. The SS American Victory continues to leave her mark on the chart of American events. As long as any of her company still breathes, the history of this ship is a work in progress. Maintaining and renovating her as a living, working memorial is a Herculean task that continues today. My name is Judy Held. I share the duties of ship's bosun with my husband Jack. We're in charge of the deck department organizing uh, projects and doing the maintenance on deck. There's always a job to do. <laughs> it's like an old house that's never done. By the time you finish one job, there's another job to do. It's a very worthwhile volunteer program for my husband and I. We don't have near enough volunteers to get everything done. If you would like to help the SS American Victory continue steaming as before, volunteer or give in any way you are able. Donations to the cause of preserving the special ship 
are tax-deductible and greatly appreciated. Help us to keep history alive and continue steaming as before. Now we mourn our fallen brothers, pray to God there'll be no others blown to bits by diving demons deep below. For the carnage and the thunder that sucked those good boys under happens daily and we've three more days to go. We're the merchant marine and we sail across the sea as the U-boats torpedoes hunt for halls that they can breach. We will brave the rugged ocean, blistering winds, the start of ocean, but we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach. We're the Merchant Marine, and we sail across the sea As the U-boats torpedoes hunt for halls that they can breach We will brave the rugged ocean, blistering winds to start of ocean But we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach Yes, we'll keep steaming till our cargo's on the beach